Welcome back, everybody, to some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And today we have another uh, viewer-submitted scenario. And this actually comes from one of our patrons. This is Eric over on Patreon. It's 1942 task for 39. It was the British fleet with protecting convoys heading to the Soviet Union. After arriving, it receives a mission to link up with a convoy in the North Sea. En route, it encounters an electrical storm. This is sounding like if you've ever seen the movie The Final Countdown, which I absolutely love, only in that case it takes place just before Pearl Harbor with the U.S. fleet in the Pacific. The electrical storm severely disrupts all timekeeping devices. Unfazed, the task force pushes on to its destination. At approximately 1,200, task force radar picks up enemy ships over the horizon. A large group of ships, too many. They're not supposed to be there. The battle begins. Task Force 39 has traveled back in time to 1916, the Battle of Jutland, and has encountered the forward elements of the German high seas fleet. Task Force 39, the United States 1939 Tech, one battleship, the USS Washington, two heavy cruisers, the Wichita and the Tuscaloosa, and two destroyers, the Wilson and an unknown name. Now, I can't name anything but the battleship, unfortunately, so I don't know what those will actually be called. You will build the USS Washington class and type. It's a North Carolina class battleship, and it gives me all the specs of that ship, but says I'm free to build it how I want within those specs. So it doesn't have to look like the USS Washington. It just has to have the, the specs, and I uh, won't take the time to read all of those, but I will make sure that they are all accurate. Uh, the High Seas Fleet Germany. He says I can use 1908 if I want to make torpedo boats instead of destroyers, or go with 1914 and use destroyers. We're going to go with 1914. The 3rd Battle Squadron has 8 battleships, the 1st Scouting Force, 5 battle cruisers, 2nd Scouting Force, 4 light cruisers, Scouting Force Torpedo Boats, 20. Uh, he says if you want feel that's unfair, you can go with 10. Uh, I'm going to go with 10 destroyers with 1914. I feel like 20 would just make the frame rate just go down to almost unplayable. Plus, I think this will be pretty interesting as is. So you're seeing on the screen uh, what we're looking at, and I will design the battleship with the specs that he gave me. We'll start at 30,000 meters since he didn't give me a distance for that. Let's go ahead and head to the design phase. All right, so here's what we're looking at right now, and we're pretty close on weight. He did say to feel free if I wanted to to add some smaller guns. I have the the 25-inch guns uh, that this the Washington had in the specs he sent me the nine 16 inch guns which is what he sent me uh, beyond that it was just uh, in aircraft and uh, things like that so but he did say feel free to throw some smaller ones in there i think we'll do it just for the sake of aesthetics you know filling in some of these places that we see spots for guns so we're going to throw some three inch guns out in those locations otherwise i think we're pretty well set uh 28 knots forty-five thousand displacement we're right at that maximum bulkheads, gear turbine, steam tur the steam turbine engines, which it had. Uh, we're a little higher than historical. I think it, his specs had 121,000 horsepower. We've got a little more than that, 133,000, but uh, not a huge deal. I think everything else, we pretty well went with the best on some of these things. I went with uh, Hydro 3 on acoustics because I'm not real worried about torpedoes. We could probably go up to Gen 2 on the radar and get a little bit closer to the weight. But I think we're pretty well set. Let's go ahead and dive into this mission. I expect it to go well, but it's a lot of, uh, lot of enemy that we're facing. So we'll see how easily we're able to take these guys out with 16-inch guns. All right, here we go. Oh, we're immediately firing. So we've got the Kennedy and the Bancroft for our destroyers and the St. Paul and the Charleston for our heavy cruisers. So yeah, if you've never seen the movie, The Final Countdown, it's pretty cool. It's a, a modern, like I think it's a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier. I think it was made in the 70s, the movie was. And they, they hit into this electrical storm and they end up off, uh, off Pearl Harbor in 1941, I think like December 6th. And they're about to intercept the Japanese fleet and sink it when the storm reappears and they have to make the decision to go back so it's pretty interesting we're gonna we gotta turn a little further so we can get get that rear turret firing not much of a chance to hit so far we're probably gonna have to get in a lot closer to start hitting these guys especially if we want to hit some of the smaller ships but it's a big fleet 
So this is your what if. What if a U.S. North Carolina class battleship showed up and intercepted the Germans before the Battle of Jutland? I'm not entirely sure it would have had a huge impact on the course of the war since uh, Germany really didn't do much with their fleet after Jutland. But it's still interesting to think about. Yeah, we're going to have to get in a lot closer to start getting some accuracy. And we've only got 872 of these shells, so we want to be want to be careful with them. Let's go ahead and drop our speed so we can get that cruise speed bonus. We'll start seeing that accuracy go up as we get closer and as we slow down. We're at 27, almost 28 knots right now. So we need to slow down quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and tell him to chill on the ammo for now until we get a little closer and we can get some decent accuracy. Let's get a look at his fleet. Sounds like some of them were colliding there. I need to target one of his bigger ships. Maybe this one, because these guys are coming at me. He's at 23 kilometers right now. Yeah, you can see already, targeting one of the bigger ships gets me a better, better accuracy rate. But I still don't want to fire yet. We'll go ahead and speed things up. I want to get him inside of 20 kilometers before we start trying to hit him. But I would think plunging fire from this distance with a 16-inch shell should, should wreak havoc on his ships. But I want better, better accuracy. Keeping it on save keeps them from firing, but keeps them aiming. So when I am ready to fire, they'll be able to open up pretty quickly. Okay. Let's go ahead and fire off a few. Yeah, see, instantly it went up to 6.6. .6. I wondered if that might happen once we got a shot off. Oh, he's going to start shooting back. I don't have real thick armor. 12 inch belt and uh, five and a half on the deck. Five inch guns, range of 11.6 kilometers, so we'll have to get in closer before we can start going after his secondaries. Looks like we got a hit, but it didn't do anything. It was a ricochet. All right, now we got to turn some more. That rear turret's not firing again. So I think I'm going to go with my uh, go with captaining the big ship and let the other guys do their thing. Nine percent chance. We should be uh, should start landing some hits now. Come on, let's get some hits. A little disappointed in my lack of hitting him so far. Tell you what, let's go after this battle cruiser. That could be a one shot kill if we play our cards right. He's only got 
three inches of deck armor. Imagine a 16 inch shell slamming into that. 10% chance to hit. Come on, let's land one. Although at this distance, it's possible it could just be a belt shot instead. He's got 12 inches of belt armor. Here we go. Oh, yes. Yeah, it was a mid-belt shot and then a bow belt. So two, two on the belt. Not a real big surprise from this distance. We should be able to start getting some secondary shots now. He's just about to come into range for my five inch guns. We'll start using the five inch guns on the light cruiser. All right, let's see if we can take out the Arminius here. Yeah, we're gonna miss. Ho! One of the 16s hit the light cruiser. I wasn't even aiming at him. Oh, that was beautiful. It was like, oops, we missed our main target. Oh, we sank a cruiser. See if we can nail the Arminius. There's a big, two big hits on the Arminius. Look at our destroyers going right in, man. No fear. Facing down that many ships. Put some torpedoes in the water. Watch the fun, but they may not escape alive, unfortunately. Okay, now we got a flash fire on the destroyer. In real life, something like this were to happen, those destroyers would have just sat back and let the battleship do their job. Although, what would they have done in this situation? Because, I mean, the U.S. isn't at war in 1916. I mean, they, they would have had the knowledge of history to know the U.S. was going to be at war. All right, let's go after the Osmark. I think Arminius is just about done. We can always finish him off later. Man, poor Bancroft. Where's my light cruisers? Oh, they're up here. Yeah, we're going to lose both those destroyers. I wonder if my light cruisers have, or my heavy cruisers have torpedoes. They do not. Oh, lovely. Four hits. Destroyers are drawing almost all the fire right now. There went one of his destroyers. That was actually five inch shells from my destroyer that took him down. Nice. Arminius is hanging on by a thread. Look at that. Ah, tough shot there. These heavy cruisers might be able to do the job on a ship like the, well, not the Mecklenburg, but maybe one of the battle cruisers. Oh boy. One of my destroyers just took a torpedo hit. Königsberg is on fire. Not even sure who hit them. There goes the Kennedy. Bancroft isn't going to be far behind. I do have to be careful with my big guns, because once those are gone, I'm only down to five inch shells. Now the fives will take out his destroyers. 
but they're not going to take out his battleships. We're probably going to have to get in closer and get better accuracy than 15%. Oh, nice. There's a couple big hits on the battlecruiser. I think that's going to do it for the Ostmark. Let's go ahead and finish off Arminius while we've got him in our sights. There goes Osmark. First big gun down. Oh my gosh, look at all the shells. Headed toward that destroyer. They're wisely getting out of there now. One more hit should finish Arminius. Wow. Every shell he has going after my destroyer. Makes my job easier. Okay, we hit Arminius. Uh, I'm hoping that's it, but maybe not. Didn't cause any more float damage. All right, sorry about that. I had to take a phone call. My, uh, you guys, if you follow the channel for a while, you know I've talked a lot about my grandmother, who, who for all intents and purposes is my mom. She raised me. My grandma did. She's only 34 years old when I was born, so she's certainly the age to be my mom. And my grandma uh, has Parkinson's and Lewy body dementia. She has for about 12 years now. She's in a nursing home facility, and earlier this year she, uh, she got COVID and nearly died from it. Also had a stroke, and the stroke probably saved her life because the stroke meant that they got her out of the nursing home and took her to the hospital for treatment and they treated both the stroke and the covid and she survived both um so my grandfather was calling me to let me know that uh, she had an appointment today to see whether or not they could remove her feeding tube and let her start eating on her own again and she passed with flying colors so that was great news um, if you are a person who believes in prayer as i do i'd certainly welcome your prayers for my grandma her name's connie if you don't, that's okay. Your your good thoughts and well wishes are all welcome as well. All right, so we did sink that that other battle cruiser. Let's go ahead and find another juicy target. I'm actually, I want to look at these battleships. See if we can take them down. Where's my? Uh, I think they got my other destroyer. Did they? Yep, they did. So now he appears to be going after my heavy cruisers. Let's see how they're doing over here. Yeah, he's got battle cruisers and battleships all back in here, headed that direction. Boy, there's so much of this enemy fleet still to take down. I think we're going to start heading, heading a little closer to him. We're down to 674 shells for the 16-inch guns. Now we're we're looking at really good accuracy, 21% right now on the battleships. They're slow targets. They're big slow targets. They're a lot easier to hit. But they're going to take more firepower to take down. And I've just got to make sure that I can serve enough ammo to take out those bigger ships before I lose all my 16-inch shells. Because I don't have torpedoes. I don't have any other secondaries that um, are capable Their distance, 10, 11 kilometers. Oh, don't, I need to get my secondaries firing on another target. Thankfully, my heavy cruisers are drawing a lot of his fire for now. All right, those shots should hit. Nope, nothing.
The good news is, as long as he's staying out at this distance, he's not coming at me with a bunch of torpedoes. Now, I'm not real worried about 1940 technology torpedoes, especially because I have a torpedo belt to protect against some of those, but they could add up. I think we're going to switch, go after the Crown Prince. It's a close target, going to give us better accuracy. Yeah, we're at 34% already. Get the secondaries on a different target, though. Oh yeah, lit up. Nice. Good start. Heavy cruisers landing some four inch hits on the battle cruiser. Not good enough. What are the big guns on my heavy cruisers? Eight inch. Okay. And they're coming around the other side. They're uh but they're still drawing fire, which is the important thing here. They're keeping some of his fleet occupied. All right, Crown Prince is done. Bye-bye. Now let's go after the Kaiser Charles the Great. Oh, what, what did I just hear? Oh, those are 13s hitting me. Come on, I want to see a good uh, flash fire on one of these ships. Oh, beautiful. We're getting some over penetration right now. Oh, he's toast. There's the flash fire. Yeah, baby. Oh, that's always so satisfying. Boy, that one really went flying. Oh, yeah. I like that so much. Way more than I probably should. I love that they added that feature. All right, switch the main guns onto the Bismarck. Ooh, looks like an ammo detonation from a three inch shell on a destroyer. Nice. Heavy cruisers are holding their own. Not causing a lot of damage right now, but not taking a lot either. All right, we've taken some damage. We're at 89% structural. Bismarck, your turn. Wow, beautiful flash fire. Oh, I should have been over there watching it. Mecklenburg. Still quite a few ships to take out and we're down to 549 shells. So ammo becomes a concern. I think we should be okay. We've got, let's see. A battleship here, that's two battleships, three, four battleships left, five battleships left. 
and two, three battle cruisers. So we've still got eight big ships to take down. But a 49% accuracy rate should be helpful. We're down to 84% though. They are causing damage. Because I have relatively thin armor. Alright, we got some torpedoes coming at us. We've got some pretty good maneuverability for this ship, though. We're going to take some torpedo hits. The question is how many. Alright, this battlecruiser's toast. The Königsberg. Yeah, we're going to take two. Right here. Not too worried about those. Although they did did do some damage. But I'm trying to get in close to get the accuracy so I can get some quick kills. Bye bye. Yes, ammo detonation. You're done. Yes! First Bismarck, you're next. Oh, look at those torpedoes coming off of that battle cruiser. We can cut this thing pretty hard, though. Yeah, he still might hit me. Yeah, I think he's going to get me with that one. Oh, it's going to be really close. He got me. Oh, wow. He just barely got me. Now we're going to have to bring the, the rear turret around. Seventy nine percent structural, seventy nine percent float. We got two battle cruisers right, right on us. Another torpedo there. Let's swing the back end around to miss this one. Dang, that's close. Wow, that was really close. We're also going to come really close to ramming this guy. Let's just hope he doesn't get a really lucky shot and cause an ammo detonation on me. He did get a torpedo at me from point blank range. Come on. There's an ammo detonation. First Bismarck's done. Swing that baby around. Oh my gosh, look at him unloading torpedoes on me at point blank range. I wasn't expecting that from the battle cruisers. I probably should have gone after this other battleship before I swung my turrets around. His battle cruiser, first Bismarck just slammed right into the Kaiser. I thought first Bismarck was done, but they survived that flash fire. And there comes another torpedo. Woo! Coming in close did not work out the way I was hoping it would. We're taking a lot more damage than I thought. He's getting flat. Look at all the friendly fire, though. Wow. His battleships were nailing that light cruiser that came in too close. Do I have rudder damage? I think I do. Man, maybe coming in close was not the good idea that I thought it was. I am getting hammered right now. With this rudder damage, I'm having a hard time 
it's going to be hard to get to get on target here. Ooh, 31%. The whole bottom of my ship is flooding now. This is bad. This is real bad. I should have stayed at range and just took my chances on running out of ammo. percent come on pumps pump that water pump that water out guys come on oh boy twelve percent man I don't know we definitely got to take out the Kaiser in before it's too late. Good news is he can't hit me real well. Lovely. Got him. All right, don't run, don't run into him, please. Oh, I, I may not be able to help it. Oh no, my rudder's still damaged. I might run into that sinking ship. And if so, that might be enough to do me in. Wow. This is not going to be good. We're at 9% float right now. 8%. Uh, bam. Ooh. There goes my structural damage. We're going to grind all along the side of that thing. Oh. That was like the Titanic hitting the iceberg. And then here come some torpedoes. Wow. That was such a huge mistake on my part. Coming close. Look at all those torpedoes that just hit me. Thankfully, a bunch missed me, but I'm done. I'm done. There goes the Washington. I don't know that these heavy cruisers can do this. There's so many ships left. Oh, I should have stayed at a distance and had plenty of ammo. What a huge mistake. Not sure these 8 inch shells can. Take take out his battleships. Maybe we'll start with the uh, the smaller ships and see what we can do about it. Ah, oh, his battleship got hit by one of his own torpedoes. That's lovely. We're just gonna circle around. Oh, I should have stayed at a distance. I overestimated the ability of that thin armor of mine to withstand 13-inch shells at close range. I should have known better. Hey, St. Paul, can you not run into the Charleston? That'd be great. I'm just going to keep turning around. Avoid any torpedoes he might send my way. Man, it's going to take a lot just to take out one of these light cruisers. St. Paul just took a couple torpedo hits. She may be taking another one here in a second. Man, I can't even take out his light cruisers. There's no way I'm going to be able to take out the battleships. And there goes another one on the St. Paul. Oh, boy. Kind of wish... Oh, man. How many torpedoes can they take? Not that many. <laughs> I'm being kind of careless now just because I know I can't win. I think we got him. Let 
Maybe. Oh, there we go. We got that destroyer. All right, Charleston. How many can we take with us? Look at him pumping out that water. Still got 709 light cruisers or uh, eight inch shells. Now he's behind smoke again. Man, it just takes a long time to even take one out. And he's a guy I almost had before. Now we're going to swing our turrets around. They don't turn nearly as fast as I do. Now I got to turn again because of these torpedoes. getting increasingly difficult to get a shot landed on him. Hey, flash fire. I love the effect of the flash fire when he's in the middle of smoke. Come on, let's take this guy out so we can turn our guns on this destroyer. Ooh, ouch. Ah, nice spread. Whoa, why did we turn that way? I told him to go left. Oh, because they were the collision avoidance. Darn it. I'm going on fast speed just because this is kind of a kamikaze mission at this point anyway. Man, those tor torpedoes did me in. At least take this last guy out with you. Uh, dang, that was close. Finish him! Oh my gosh, look at all those torpedoes. Bye-bye. Well, that was fun. If you have a scenario suggestion, go ahead and send it out to me. You can send it through a private message on Discord if you're a patron on Patreon. Uh, at the, I think it's the major level on up. You get one guaranteed every month. Uh, so you can send it to me through Patreon. Uh, and we'll see you again soon with another episode. Thanks for watching.